Hey everyone, so this is going to be part 2 of our Yersinuk game engine tutorial series. And in this part, I'm just going to be talking about shapes, colors, and text. So let's first import our uh, Yersinuk module. So from Yersinuk, we want to import star. And when we're importing star, this just imports everything from the Yersinuk module. Now we can write app is equal to Yersinuk and app.run so if I run this uh, we should have a window pop up and this is just the basic structure of a years in a game and it will open a window and start the game and now let's actually create a cube so let's create cube is equal to entity and the model is going to be a cube and when I run this we will see a white cube and in your Sina, an entity is basically like an object in the Pi games that we have developed before. And most things in your Sina are entities. This first parameter model tells us the entity's model and what, what it will be. Now, it was a little difficult to see that it was a cube before. It, more, it looked like uh, a 2D square. So let's make it easier to see that it was a cube. So let's add a rotation. Rotation is equal to 45, 45, 0. And it rotates 45 on the x, 45 on the y, and 0 on the z. So, now that I rotated it, it looks uh, a lot more like a cube, and instead of a square. So let's close this. And let me remove this for now, since we have proved that it is indeed a cube. Let's add a scale value. So scale, and let's say I wanted to scale the x by 2. Scale x is equal to 2, and this will double the uh, x value on the x-axis. And now you see that the width has increased by a scale of 2. And let's say I want you to scale the y, then this should scale the y by 2, which it does. And I can also scale by you know, 5 or even 0.5, and this will half the uh, y, which it does. Great. And you can also instead uh, have scale is equal to, and then list three parameters. And these three parameters correspond to the x, y, and z axis. So this will scale three times on the x, two times on the y, and one time on the z. So let me run this. And it, the uh, width tripled, the height doubled, and the z axis, uh, nothing happened to it because you're scaling it by one. Or let's say you even wanted to scale each side by the same amount. Then instead of having three parameters, like three, 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 you can just write scale is equal to three, and this will scale your object by three times on each single side. And now let's talk about changing position. Uh, normally, on default, the uh, center is zero, zero, zero. And so we can change that with position. So position is now going to be equal to 3, 2, 1. 3 on the x, 2 on the y, and 1 on the z. So let's save this and run. And now we have our cube that moved from the center, 0, 0, 0, to 3, 2, 1. Great. And we can also change the model. So let's mess around with different models. Instead of a cube, which is three-dimensional. We can have something called a quad, which is just a 2D square. And normally it looks the same, uh, like this. But if we just decide to rotate it or move it, uh, it will look different because it is a 2D square. You can also have a circle, which is just a 2D circle. Yeah, 2D circle. Or a sphere, which is a, you know, 3D sphere. And yeah, and there are more uh, models. And now let's try to change the uh, color. At first, you noticed that when I first run this, the default color is white. So let's change this color. Let's add another parameter, and this is going to be color is equal to color dot, and then whatever color you want. 
and I'll change it to red. So color is equal to color.red, and this will change the cube's color to red. And you can also use RGB values. So color is equal to color.rgb 25500. Zero, zero. And now well that that's red. So 25500 zero, zero is a red. And now that we have this, let's actually add some text. So let's create a text value. Text is equal to text and text is equal to this is a red cube so if i run this it will show that well this is a red cube and if we wanted to change the color of the text like before we can add a color parameter color is equal to color dot green for example and i'll run this now we just change the color of the text to green. We can also scale this text up. So if the text is too small or too large, we can scale it with a scale value of 2. And this should double the size of the text, which it does. Now if we scale it by 0.5, this will shrink the text. And it does. Great. And now it's a lot harder to read. So now instead of scaling it, let's see how we can change the position of the or the location of the text. So x is equal to negative 0.3, and let's set the y equal to negative 0.3 also. Now we have moved the text from its location, which was somewhere over here, down here. And that's basically the end of this video. And I will see you guys in the next part of the tutorial series.